Hi everyone. Today I'll be walking you through the steps I took to turn an ordinary cell phone snapshot into digital art. Here is the seed photograph. Unlike many of the photos I start with, there's not much to complain about here in terms of overall composition. It has a well delineated foreground, middle ground, and background. There's something of interest for the eye at each distance. And the subject is already center stage. It is a little washed out though. Here, I've used general purpose photo manipulation software to boost the colors and contrast, and to bring out the detail. This is particularly evident in the heightened texture in the stone slab, the cat's fur, and the back wall. And the flower bush is now much more appealing. I think we're ready to start playing with artistic filters. My strategy here is to try out a variety of different looks, and then to stack them as layers so that I can combine them for the optimal effect. The first one I'm trying today is a drawing filter. I like how it emphasizes the cat's facial features and the individual blocks in the wall, but I'm less impressed by the indistinct body and flower bush. This is an example of a pointillist filter. It has a lovely dreamlike quality. But I find the splotches distracting and untidy. This one is an oil pastel filter. I stopped the rendering before it was finished, to get a hazy indistinct effect. It's great for the background, but detracts from the cat, as the main subject. This is a watercolor filter, but to me it looks closer to a drawing with colored markers. I'm not happy with the white patches in the flower bush. Here's a type of impressionist filter. It's certainly not offensive, but it also hasn't made much of a difference in comparison to the seed photo. The last one I'm going to apply today is an oil paint filter. I think the effect is closer to a line drawing than oil paints, and I don't like how the crispness detracts from the natural softness of the bush and the cat's fur. The next step is to place each of the filtered images on a different layer, and then vary the blending styles between them. The idea is to look for a combined effect that complements the photo more than any single filter. This is my first attempt at blending. You can see that it's retained the splotches from the pointillist filter, but added vibrancy to the colors. There's room for improvement, so I'll try again. This is a much better result. Here, the splotches are confined to a kind of vignette around the main subject. The flowers are bold and colorful, and the rendering of the subject captures the solidity of the cat without sacrificing the soft texture of the fur. I'm pretty happy with this, so I merge the layers, and then finish cleaning up the image. I add a subtle spotlight to the cat's face, I change the illumination slightly to make it closer to sunlight, and add a dark vignette to reduce the impact of the splotches. What do you think of the result? I hope you found this video useful and informative. Please comment and subscribe if you did. And be sure to check out the other videos in my channel. Happy creating!